Hat friends. So we're about to get started on today's treat. Now, last year for Vlogmas, I just rebranded it into Treatmas. We've done a treat every single day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be doing it the same way this year. Um, I just, we've, I just don't wanna overdo it anyways. Um, so I will be sharing a lot of treats because we always make a lot of treats this time of year anyways. But I'm just not sure if we're going to have it every single day. I know that um, there will be a collab, a gift exchange collab coming up. I don't share one on that video. Um, and then, you know, there might be some days when I don't get to share one. I'll still be sharing grocery hauls and whatnot. So not every single day we'll have a treat, but I'm going to try to include a lot of those. We make a lot of treats over here anyway, so it's not like it's going to be a huge deal um, to try to fit them in. But I just want to, you know, enjoy the season not gain any weight um you know all that fun stuff so we'll be sharing a lot of stuff our day-to-day -day life lots of treats still obviously um the christmas parades probably some shopping everything we're gonna be sharing the season with you guys um so we just probably won't have treats every single day but we will have them a lot i can say that we'll have them a lot of the days but anyways today's treat i'm super excited about i was scrolling through a facebook a few days ago and um come upon a, somebody that was doing a treat a day same thing i done last year but she was doing a cookie a day i mean she done puppy chow cookies and y'all know that we love puppy chow over here i love checks cereal in recipes and i figured you know what i'm gonna make that so i'm gonna follow her recipe however i want to change it up when it comes to the topping because hers don't have any check cereal on it and i'm like can you have puppy chow without having checks the answer to that is no so we're gonna go ahead and get it started and i figured we would share that with you i will give credit where it is due um i just screenshot the recipe because it wouldn't allow me to save it so i'm going to show it here and that's her name if you have a facebook and you want to go her recipe but i'm going to add my own little touches at the end so we're going to go ahead and get that started my butter i forgot to get it out so um we're gonna go ahead and put this in the microwave i know that's like a golden rule of where you don't do that if you're baking we break the rolls around here so i'm going to get this in the microwave for about 30 seconds just enough to get it softened up and grab the rest of the ingredients because i got a few of them but not all of them and we're just going to jump into it so let's get to baking okay so
Okay, so I tasted the dough and it is, it's really good. So, <clears throat> makes me hopeful that the cookies are gonna be good. Now you're supposed to take it, make it into a ball, your palm and squish it down. eight to nine minutes i want to try to save this bit to make some more later on because we're making a lot of treats right now so i don't want to overdo it so So in this bowl, I'm going to melt <clears throat> just a few of these. I don't need a lot of the check cereal. Just enough to put on top of the cookies. So I'm just going to do a know, whatever that is. About half a cup of that. And then just a little bit of peanut butter here about a spoonful uh i mean a teaspoon i forgot these bowls are not microwavable i'm gonna give them two more minutes i add about a cup and a half of checks which is way more than i'll need to get it coated in the chocolate mixture. Um, I thought if I done it this way, then the cereal will have a better chance of staying crispy on top of the cookie. That's what my hopes was anyway. Be able to break this up.
Hey guys, and that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We love y'all. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys.